Hi everyone and welcome to the Laser Channel where we learn, create, and share. My name is Greg and in today's fun summertime video, I'm going to be sharing how I made this fun outdoor glider plane using the common build material of a sheet of cardboard. To speed things up during the assembly process, I'll be using a hot melt glue gun. Let's get this project started by jumping into the computer and checking out the graphic that I have loaded in the Xtool software. The graphic file, I'll have a link to that down in the video description. I'm going to have two versions of that, one of them being an SVG file for those of you who are not using an Xtool laser machine or the Xtool software. And for those of us who are using the Xtool machine with the Xtool software, I'll also have that file format available as well. Let's take a look at what I've got on the screen. Quick shakedown here, the top is the wing. And then I have two stabilizer pieces that will get glued on the bottom here. You can pick one or the other depending on what you'd like to try out. And then here is the main body of the plane. And then we're going to have two of these shapes down below. One of these gets glued to either side of the plane, adding some strength and stability of it. So the body of the plane is going to have three layers of cardboard. We're also going to see that I've got a tiny little mark right here and right here on those two outer body marks. And that is a guide for placing the wing on the model. And I think that's a good starting point on where to place the back end of the wing on the fuselage to get it properly balanced so it flies really nice. Here we'll see that layer number one that makes up this entire glider is on a cut layer with a power level of 80% at a speed of 10 millimeters per second. My laser machine is running a 40 watt laser module. For those of you running different power levels, of course you'll need to adjust accordingly, whether faster or slower or adding multiple passes. It's now time to load a piece of cardboard into the machine and get the focus set. For this project, I recommend using honeycomb underneath since we're doing all cutting. I like this honeycomb because it comes with these four magnetic clips to securely hold my project material in place and help keep it flat. I'll move the laser module somewhere in the middle so that I can hit the autofocus button. This is certainly quick and very easy. Everything's all set and I'm ready to start cutting out the glider airplane. One of the things that I'd like to do before I start handling all the pieces is I'm going to get a piece of paper towel and that is because if I start touching all these edges I am going to pick up a little bit of char so this paper towel, nice clean wipe is going to keep my hands a lot cleaner. Before I start gluing everything up I'm going to take the three parts of the body and stack all of those up and I am going to use that to start adding some of the angling to the wing. Right now it's perfectly flat and if I crease along all these dotted lines, this is going to give the wing this uh, swept up look to it and this is going to help keep it stable during flight. I'm going to start by laying some glue down the middle section. I'll take the stack of the three body parts and align the dotted line right there. And this will add a little bit of that angle. I'll just apply a little bit of glue across the top. If I need to, I can also add a little bit of glue across the bottom to help keep that angle in the wing. Once that's set, 
I can move on to the two outer sections here once again using the stack of the three main body parts of the plane as a gauge to add a little bit of that angle to the wing. I'll set this off to the side and finish letting the hot milk glue cool down. As you've guessed that we're going to take the center piece and make this the center of the fuselage sandwich here. We're going to take these two outside pieces and those will be glued on just like that. I'll start with just a little drizzle of the hot melt glue. A little bit goes a long way. Time for the top piece. And for the tail, I have this choice of two different ones. In the sample one, I use the smaller one, so I think for this one, I'll use the larger piece. Making sure it's all the way at the back and perfectly centered. That looks good. And I'll add a little bit more glue on the top on this side and a little bit on the other side. Before I attach the wing to the main part of the airplane, the front is going to be a little bit light, so I am going to need to add a little bit of counterweight. And for that, I'm going to use two nickels, one to either side. Once again, I'll use a dab of some hot milk glue to keep the nickels in place. When I attach the wing to the airplane, to get it positioned in just the right spot, what I like to do is take a number 64 rubber band, or I can take some office rubber bands and tie those together too. And I like to just rubber band the wing in place first until I know exactly where the wing needs to be before hot melt gluing it directly in place. Just pull the rubber band around the front. And I do have that mark that I cut in, and that's going to be the starting point for the balance of the wing. And I'll just adjust this around until it's in just the right spot. That looks pretty good, and it's now ready to go outside and take this out for its maiden flight. The balance point for my wing is going to be just ahead of the mark on that side. And this is going to be due to differences in cardboard and exactly where I place the weight in the front. I'll give the plane a few more minutes for that hot melt glue to fully set up before taking it on another test flight. While the hot melt glue is finishing setting up, let's check out what we can do to modify these airplane plans. I am going to start out with the wing. I can select that and I can grab the top here and make it much larger. I can make it smaller. Right now it's growing and shrinking in proportion to height and width. If I'd like to do that separately, I can take the padlock up at the top of the screen here and open that padlock and that is going to allow me to adjust the width and the height separately from one another. Here, let's check that out. Now I can make the wing much taller. I can make it wider. All these other different plane parts, we can modify them and see how they turn out. I think the glue is all done setting up and let's check it out. I love this plane. It looks great, it flies great, and it was fun to make. If I'd like to add a little bit more dazzle to it by adding a splash of color, I can certainly do that with some spray paint, some brush on paint, or even some paint pens are an excellent choice. I hope that you enjoyed this video. Please consider giving it a like, subscribe to the channel, or ring that notification bell. Not only is it a great way to help the laser channel grow, it's an awesome way to connect video content like this with other great viewers just like you. Well, until we meet again in the next video, learn, create, and share.